Hi there. My name is Aaron Lanterman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech used to have a nuclear reactor for research purposes. It was shut down in 1995. I recently learned about an educational toy called the Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory. It included sources of beta-alpha, beta, and gamma radiation, in addition to four jars containing uranium ore. And it came with the educational comic book, Learn How Dagwood Splits the Atom, prepared with the scientific advice of Lieutenant General Leslie R. Groves. And yeah, that Leslie Groves. I'll include a link to Atlas Obscura's excellent video on the kit in the description below. I first thought about the old Dan Aykroyd Saturday Night Live skit, where Aykroyd plays a toy company exec that creates products like Bag of Glass. My second thought was, I have to have one of these. Unfortunately, or fortunately according to my wife, I couldn't find any kits on eBay. But I did find some very curious advertisements. Now, I'm not personally that familiar with all of the details of how to handle radioactive materials safely. And I suspect that whatever the protocols were in 1950, they've been updated in the 70 plus years since then. But I conjecture that most standard laboratory procedures involving radiation include a recommendation to wear pants. I looked through this digitized version of the manual for the kit and couldn't find any specific mention of pants. Although I did find the suggestion of playing hide-and-seek with the gamma source. These young scientists may be afforded better protection against alpha and beta particles, and they at least have scientific notebooks for recording their observations. Although I'm starting to suspect that these ads are not intending to represent a realistic scientific educational scenario, and Gilbert may have had a particular target demographic in mind. Although there is this, which is like science, but pink. But the 1950s were a different time. I'm sure there's no problem with sexism in science today.